of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Barlow, one of the youngest, most brilliant and trusted men in the International Secret Police, has just brought a spectacular criminal case to a successful conclusion. Now he is about to go on a well-earned vacation, and we find him in his rooms with Speed Gibson, his orphaned 15-year-old nephew whom he is raising. He has his hands full, for Speed is the typical American boy, interested in shortwave radio, aviation, and most of all, in the International Secret Police. Because of Speed's interest in the organization and his evident aptitude, Clint has been teaching him as many rules and regulations of the secret police as he could without violating his oath of secrecy. As a result, Speed looks on crime as the height of weakness, failure, and cowardice, and has determined to do his part to end it. His admiration for his uncle and his work drives Speed on to study everything useful to a member of the secret police, for he is determined to join that organization and work with Clint. At the moment, however, Speed is working on a model of the China Clipper while Clint is reclining on the couch, snowed under with travel folders. Oh, oh boy. This is the life. <laughs> Nothing in the world to do but decide where to go on a vacation. Well, let's see now. Here's Palm Springs, uh, Miami, the mountains. Uh, hey, Speed, where would you like to go best? China. Uh, China? <laughs> Look here, fella. I can only get away for about a week or ten days. Be reasonable. Uh, uh, what's that, Uncle Clint? Uh, oh, no, you didn't hear a word I said. Come back from wherever you are and listen to me, will you? This is important. Gee, I'm sorry, Clint. But when I get working on this clipper model, I forget about everything else around me. <laughs> you imagine you're actually flying in it, huh? I suppose I yanked you back from Wake Island when I asked you where we ought to go for our vacation. Mm, no, I, I believe it was Midway. <laughs> Say, Speed, with your imagination, you could stay right in this room and fly all over the world. Yeah, but I'd not rather really fly, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know, flying is my middle name. Uh, I've had enough traveling for a while. What I want to find now is a nice, quiet place where there's nothing to do but rest. Oh, heck, that's no fun. Well, maybe not for you, but it's fun for me. On my vacation, I'm going to do nothing but enjoy the beauties of nature. Oh. Someone's at the door. <laughs> so I hear. Uh, see who it is, Speed. If there's anyone for me, tell them I've gone to China. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Barney. Hello, kid. Is the mastermind at home? Yeah, he's on the couch trying to find a vacation spot where he can do nothing but admire the beauties of nature. Well, he don't have to go away on a vacation to do that as long as he's got me around. (laughs) Oh, say, when you come around, I see nothing but trouble. Now, you better not tell me that you've just come from headquarters and that the chief wants to see me about another job. Can't a guy drop in for a friendly visit without being accused of everything under the sun? I'm glad you came, Barney. Look at my clipper model. Say, that's a beaut, kid. First thing we know, you'll be piloting one of them clipper planes across the water. Maybe. But I'm going to be in the secret police like Clint and you. That's why I've been studying all the rules and regulations and asking you and Clint so many questions. (laughs) Well, you've got a flair for it, all right, Speed. But you know, it's the hardest work a man can do. I'll say it is. Especially when you're in the strong-arm division like me. That's what you want to work for, kid. Oh, is that so? Oh, listen, you big ox. Brains will get you out of many a fix that Braun never could. <laughs> I thought I'd get you off of that couch sooner or later. <laughs> the first time he's been off is his breakfast, Barney. And you'll notice I didn't use any muscles getting him off either. It was brains. Who was it said he had the brains and me the brawn for our partnership, huh? You both have plenty of both if you ask me. I don't know what that's going to leave me when I start working with you. Oh, now don't worry, Speed. You have youth, a fresh viewpoint. Say, we've been in the game so long, we're apt to get in a rut. You'll be able to see many things that we may overlook. Well, now that that's all settled, is there anything to eat in this place? No, but that's an idea. What do you say uh, you go out and buy some food and bring it back here? Oh, yeah? If I get food, I should come back here with it. Oh, please, Barney. Can I go on your vacation with you if I do? Nothing doing. I see enough of you when I'm working with you. I want to rest in peace. Yeah, 
If it wasn't for me, you'd have been resting in peace long ago. I've gotten you out of plenty of scrapes. Why, the yeah, time... All right, all right now, yes. I admit that I couldn't breathe if it weren't for you. But if you'll only forget the past and stop talking shop. I'm on my vacation, my boy, even if I am still at home. But you'll stay at home, too, Clint. The chief will have a new case for you before we can get away. He will not, because we're leaving tonight. Where are you going? Yeah, I don't know yet. And I do know it'll be someplace where headquarters can't reach me. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you're going on a vacation, huh? Uh, answer it, Speed. Say I'm not here. But, Clint... Uh, answer it. Hello? Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, he's here. It's for you, Clint. It's the chief. <laughs> Speaks well for your training, Clint. The kid won't lie even for you. No, sir. Hello, chief. Hmm? Uh, yes, we're leaving tonight. Chief, it's another big job. I wish you'd take it. Uh, what's that, chief? Oh, now look here, sir. You promised me a vacation, and I'm going to hold you to that promise. Well, if something's up, let the other boys handle it. Why, sure, you're plenty of good men there. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. No. I wish he'd make up his mind. Shh, I want to hear. Oh, yes, I can reach Barney Dunlap for you. He's right here. Uh, what's that, Chief? You want speed. Gee, the Chief wants me. Right down and listen. Oh, no, I can't do that, sir. I, I'm very sorry, but... Oh, yes, I'll send Barney over, but don't count on me. And certainly not speed. Uh, what's that, Chief? The octopus. I'll be right over. Yes, sir. What's on the fire, Clint? What did the chief want me for, Clint? Uh, the vacation's off speed. Come on, Barney. We've got to get down to headquarters right away. The octopus gang's at work again. The octopus gang? Suffering wang doodles. Where to now? Uh, Hong Kong. Oh, where's my tie? Where's that coal? Here they are, Clint. But well, what's the octopus gang? Oh, it's the worst criminal gang in modern history, Speed. No one has ever seen the leader, the octopus, but his organization covers the earth. Exactly like the tentacles of a giant octopus. He's diabolical. A genius of evil with a brain so brilliant that he has successfully eluded every effort made by Scotland Yard, the French Sûreté, and even our own secret police. Gee, he's your public enemy number one, then, isn't he? Kid, from all I've heard of him, he's a super-colossal public enemy number one. Yes, and his power is constantly growing. He must be trapped. It'll be our biggest job, Barney. I'm ready for it, buddy. Uh, come on, then. The chief naturally didn't give me any details on the case over the phone. He just mentioned the octopus. But that was enough for me. But what about me, Clint? The chief mentioned me, too, didn't he? Oh, yes, Pete, but he had the wrong idea. Haven't time to tell you now. I will when I get back. Oh, no, Clint. Let me go with you, please. Now, Speed, what's the most important thing a member of the secret police must know? How, how to obey orders. Well, then, as your superior officer, I order you to remain here until we get back. Yes, sir. And carry on with the China Clipper while we're gone, fella. Gee, Barney, how can I work on that Clipper model when there's something really big in the air? Well, kid, I don't know. I wonder what the chief wanted with me. Oh, doggone it. So long, kid. I'll bring some food back. Clint always says how fine I'm doing in the secret police studies. But when I maybe get a chance to do some real work, what happens? I gotta stay home. No adventures could ever happen here at home. Oh, now what? Oh, uh, hello. Does Clint Barlow hang out here? Clint Barlow? Why, uh, he's not here. Oh, no. Don't try shutting the door in my face. If he ain't here, that's fine. I'll just come in and wait. <laughs> but not long enough for him to get back. Uh, who, who are you? Just call me Blackie if you must call me something. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little joint Barlow's got here. Well, what do you want with my uncle? Listen, I didn't come here to answer no questions, see? Just keep out of my way and you won't get hurt. But don't bother me none. I I won't, but 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 I gotta make a few phone keep calls. Keep away from that phone if you want to stay healthy. Well, I'm I speaking of phones. Your uncle was talking on that one just a few minutes ago, wasn't he? I I, I don't know. You don't, huh? And I'll tell you, he was and I wasn't here. Barlow was chinning with his chief about the octopus gang. Octopus? Uh, that's a kind of fish, isn't it? Sometimes. Play dumb if you want, Speed Gibson, but you ain't fooling nobody. I heard the chief talking to Barlow about you. you. You heard him? Yeah, your phone wires tapped. I didn't learn much, but what I did hear made me kind of curious. I saw Barlow and his pal leave, so I thought I'd mosey in and learn some more. Well, who are Never you? Never mind. I'm going to take a look around. Maybe I'll find something that'll tell me more than you can. Hey, hey, keep away from that desk. Who says so? Sit down and shut up. Keep your hands off those things. You keep away from me or I'll fix it so you won't worry about what I'm doing here. Hmm. Yeah. What's that on the table? My clipper ship. Yeah? 
I suppose your Uncle Clint made it for you. No, I made it. It's just like the real one. The body's real heavy. I weighted it so as it'd have perfect balance. Uh, I ain't interested in clipper ships. Well, here's one that'll be interesting to you. Oh. Golly, I knocked him cold. It's me. Please, let us in. Have your lock in this door. Yeah, I forgot my hat. Suffering doodles. Who's this guy? Somebody's put him on ice. And look at Speed's clipper model. It's wrecked. Yeah, I ruined it. Who is this man? He was looking through all your papers in the desk here. And he knew about you talking with the chief about the octopus gang. Said he'd tapped our wires. Let me get the handcuffs on him. Did I do the wrong thing, Clint? The wrong thing? Well, you're the best man of the three of us. Come on, get your coat, Speed. You've got to come along and deliver your prisoner. What? If the chief doesn't make you a bona fide member of the secret police for this, I'll eat Barney's hat. Speed, you're the first person who's ever captured an octopus gangster. Come on, let's get to headquarters. (laughs) 